Hi, it's Lois here and welcome back. Today I'm going to be recycling an old wash um, that I didn't know what to do with and turning it into this lighthouse scene. Um, for my patron patrons, I'll be leaving a link as to how to do a wash similar to this for you on the Patreon page. Um, this is the wash that I used, which is a simple wet in wet wash. Um, it was done on the back of an old painting. You can see there's lots of marks all around the outside of the painting that I'm not too happy with. But what I'll do is I'll paint within that so it'd be a smaller painting. There's also some marks along the horizon line that I wasn't keen on, so we'll cover those up. I've penciled in a very loose lighthouse shape. Pause it there if you need to copy or trace that. First, I'm going to paint in the lighthouse just using the flat brush. I'm just very very loosely painting it in. Um, I'm not, not going to include too much detail. So it's just kind of just a few marks here and there just to indicate the lighthouse without it looking too tightly drawn. Make sure it's quite dark right on that edge I think. Just work at it until you you like the look of it. And I'm going to use my small squirrel mop just um, to soften out some of the edges here and there, maybe adding a bit of water or diluting the paint. Soften off the bottom edge where it's going to meet the waves just going to use a damp brush around the bottom where I've softened it as well just to add a bit of water around the base so that when I start adding the waves they should soften off a bit there. I want my waves to follow roughly the direction of the sky because that's obviously the way the wind is blowing so with my small squirrel mop and some indigo with a medium thick mixture I'm just very loosely making marks that kind of tumble off in the direction um, of the sky um, brush strokes, pulling some down across the foreground and the midground as well, just being very, very loose and free and experimental. With practice, you can get some quite good wave effects this way if you're not painting too tightly. Um, I'm just adding in now some, some raw sienna um, just where I think it needs it, just to reflect some of the colour from the sky. And then you can just use a, a tissue or a paper towel, a kitchen towel, just to dab out maybe some highlights of the waves, just to create a bit more light in, in there if you want that. Now I'm just going to darken up the lighthouse a little bit on that left hand side and then maybe get some dark into the waves. And really now it's just a matter of um, playing around with it. Um, with different thicknesses of paint, uh, maybe darkening up some shadows here and there, sort of pulling up some um, some spray with that with the hockey brush like that. You can just lift the damp paint paint so it kind of looks like water spray and the crests of the waves. And this is an experiment for me too because I've never really done this. I just think that it's a lot of fun just to splash about with the paint, and as long as you've got a convincing looking lighthouse and sky then I think the loose strokes of the sea just seem to fall into place. Now I'm adding some extra wave shapes into the foreground with the flat brush and various mixtures of the three colours that I'm using. Again I'm just working um, on the brush strokes until I feel that the sea looks stormy um, but the, the composition itself looks fairly balanced. Use whichever brush you're comfortable with really for this, whatever gives you the effects that you like. Again, it's all down to experimentation, practice and just giving it a go and not being too worried about getting things perfect.
just going to get some some really dark darks in now I think just to finish off the C. And just finally if you want to you can use a tissue or a paper towel just to lift out a little bit more paint if you want. If you want some really white crests of the waves you could go in with some um, white gouache at the end um, for the for some nice contrast. Now let's have a close look and I think you can see the effects that we've got with the lighthouse looking like it's right in the middle of a stormy sea. So remember, we're not painting every wave, we're not painting um, a realistic picture, it's a loose impression, um, something that's, that's quite, quite expressive really. If you look at the direction of the sea of the sky, um, I think I'm going to put some birds in, but I think I'm going to have them going against, trying to fly against the direction of the wind. I think that will just help to balance things up. So using the rigger and the um, Payne's grey and indigo, I'm just going to put in a few small birds, keep them in that sort of a group there, just as the finishing touch for this painting. Make sure you put some smaller, fainter ones in for distant birds as well. So they look as if they're not all in exactly the same position in the sky. And here's the finished painting. Um, well, I think that's been quite a successful uh, way of recycling an old wash that wasn't really doing anything. And it was a lot of fun to paint. Um, I hope you'll give it a go and I hope you get some interesting results. Um, keep as loose and as, and as expressive as you can and I think you'll be surprised at how effective um, seemingly random painting brush strokes can actually be for something like a stormy sea. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe please. Um, and thanks patrons so much for supporting this channel. And remember, if you want to become a patron and join the group and access lots more videos, then please click on the link below the in the description. Thanks so much and see you soon. Bye.